Ryan Noonan is the recipient of the 2024 Community Advocate Award. He is joined by his mom, Tracy, to share how Ryan has used his unique skills to give back to the community. Ryan is really happy all the time. We're very fortunate with that. He wakes up in the morning with a smile on his face and he goes to sleep with a smile on his face. He lives for the moment. Some of the things he likes to do is he likes swimming. He likes to do ritualistic type of work, um, sorting, organizing, things like that. Ryan has used that knack for ritualistic work to give to his community on a number of occasions. I used to work for one site, and that is a nonprofit organization that brings vision care and eyeglasses to impoverished communities. Well, one day they had all hands on deck. We all had to go to the warehouse because we needed to sort and organize these sunglasses for this big sun sale coming up. And I said to the lady in charge, you know, I have a son with autism that loves doing this type of organizing and sorting. Do you have this only one time a year? And she told me, actually, we have sunglasses come in all year long. And if he would like to come once a week and help us sort these glasses, we'd love to have him. So that's kind of what started everything. Ryan began visiting regularly and sorting glasses. This helped the nonprofit raise money, and Ryan enjoyed the work. He also then, because they knew he liked to do things like that, he also um, created gift bags for their golf outing for him, where it was very, yeah. It was very monotonous where he'd go through a line and put this item in a bag, this item in a bag, this item in a bag. The thing that was difficult for us is we might have 500 bags and he did not want to finish the job until it was complete. Ryan has volunteered his time at Safe Haven Farm and Matthew 25 Ministries. One thing that we do is we collect the old uh, gold yellow medicine bottles from family, friends, people in the neighborhood. We have boxes of them and he removes the labels from all of them and then I typically wash them in the sink and then he applies all the lids. We package them up in a baggie and then we deliver them to Matthew 25 Ministries. And they take them to impoverished countries for, to manage their medi medications. His work is more than just volunteer time. He's advocating with his very presence. To me, it's a win-win situation because he is using the skills that he has, doing what he loves to do, and it's helping somebody in the community. Um, I also think that it's really important that the community sees that people with special challenges are not always on the receiving end of services, but they can be on the giving end just as well, especially if they enjoy doing it. Ryan has taught me more about life than any experience or any other person I've ever met. Ryan has taught me that let's just live one day at a time. Let's not judge other people based on their physical or mental capacity. Let's help each other when we can. 